The South San Francisco Bay Shoreline Study is a flood management and wetland restoration project. The San Francisco Bay is the largest estuary on the West Coast, and the region is home to over 7 million people. Before the gold rush, the bay was surrounded by 200,000 acres of wetlands, 85% of which were converted to agriculture, development, and salt ponds. Large-scale wetlands restoration is now occurring. Our major league sports teams are also a point of pride. Now let's zoom in to the far south bay, also known as Silicon Valley, home to many high-tech companies. In the Bay Area, we have developed along the flatlands that ring the bay, creating susceptibility to flooding. We are starting just southeast of Moffett Field and will be flying along the white line. We will be seeing many ponds in the flyover. Those labeled in green are proposed for restoration as part of this project. Pond A8S and A8 are outside the project area across Alviso Slough. Alviso, a low-lying community, is up to 15 feet below sea level and at significant risk from tidal flooding. To the north of Alviso lies Pond A12, one of the eight salt ponds recommended for restoration. Seven of these salt ponds are part of the Don Edwards National Wildlife Refuge. The Guadalupe River has been the subject of a flood risk management project by the Corps and Santa Clara Valley Water District. The proposed levy will tie into the accredited levy along the Guadalupe River at the east end of the Alviso Marina and run north just to the west of the railroad tracks. New Chicago Marsh, part of the refuge, is a managed marsh that will be on the land side of the proposed levy. The proposed levee will run between New Chicago Marsh and Pond A-16 and cross the railroad tracks with a gate structure. Pond A-16, whose southern edge will be home to the proposed levee, has already been enhanced for migratory birds by the South Bay Salt Pond Restoration Project. 2,000 acres, or 7 out of 8, of the salt ponds proposed for restoration including Pond A-13, lie to the north of the railroad tracks. These seven ponds will be restored in stages, starting with Pond A-12. Also to the left is Pond A-15, another of the salt ponds proposed for restoration. On the right, you can see Pond A-17, which was restored to tidal wetlands as part of the South Bay Salt Pond Project. We would use similar techniques in our proposed restoration, such as breaches of the dikes. Eventually, Pond A-17 will naturally fill with sediment and vegetation and look more like Triangle Marsh to the left, just as the ponds restored as part of this project will. Ponds A-20 and A-21 were also restored to tidal wetlands nine years ago as part of the South Bay Salt Pond Project and are already in use by endangered species. We are now above Pond A18. In the distance is Moffett Field. Again, the proposed levee will run between New Chicago Marsh and Pond A16. The levee will cross Artesian Slough with a flap gate to accommodate drainage from the treatment plant. The levee then follows the southern edge of A18, which is proposed for tidal restoration. Ecotone would run along the pond side of the new levee. Between the wastewater facility and A18 lie the facility's drying beds. The proposed levee ties into the accredited levee along Coyote Creek at the east end of the project area. Pond A18, owned by the city of San Jose, is the largest of the eight salt ponds proposed for restoration at about 800 acres. Here again is A17, previously restored via a breach. A9 through A15 in the distance, all proposed for tidal restoration, and A16, previously enhanced as a managed pond.
The regional wastewater facility serves close to 1.5 million people and treats about 110 million gallons per day. The purification center further treats 8 million gallons per day for recycled water. To the south are Highway 237 and businesses such as Samsung, Cisco, and Ericsson, and Alviso is in the distance. We are just above the western edge of the wastewater facility, looking west and panning clockwise to the east. The proposed levee would provide coastal flood risk management for Alviso, the wastewater facility, nearby business parks, and Highway 237, nearly 3,000 acres of salt ponds on the bay side of the new levee, A9 through A15 and A18, would be restored to the tides with an ecotone along the edges of the restored ponds along the levee. The Shoreline Study Partners thank you for your support of coastal flood management and wetland restoration in the South Bay.